Hi guys, it's just Josh Bridges again. I wanted to bring you a video um, explaining what OBD11 is. Now, OBD11, which is this little device here, um, it's from a company in Lithuania. Uh, basically, it's like your VAGCOM, your VCDS, that sort of thing, where you can plug it into your OBD port, make modifications to the car, um, and also you can change a whole lot of stuff um, on it's Audis, well, anything from the VAG group, essentially. Um, anything from the Volkswagen Audi group, um, there'll be a list of things that you can do from there as well. Um, so stay tuned, I'll run through some of the things that I've done, um, and I'll also tell you a little bit about what to do with it, and things that I recommend that you should do with OBD11. So, first things first, uh, I'll introduce you to the OBD11 device, which is just here. So as you can see, it's the OBD2 port, um, all you need to do to be able to activate this is plug it into your car, turn your car ignition on, it'll then connect via Bluetooth, so you need to get your phone. It's important that you use an Android so you can use a tablet, um, any phone that has a possibility of downloading an app. So download the app from the App Store, connect to it via Bluetooth, and then it'll scan your car. So it's a diagnostic reader, first and foremost. If you do have any, anything wrong with your car, I mean, I, I, I do drive a Volkswagen, so chances are it'll probably something will be wrong um you can have a look through the diagnostic codes clear them get anything sorted that you need to as well in addition to being able to do the diagnostics you can also do a lot of programming on there as well one thing that i've done for example is to program the golf R exhaust flaps always open um you probably join me in thinking that the car is actually quite quiet um from standard hence the reason why i'm going to get a resonator delete but in the meantime, I've decided to use the OBD11 device to be able to do that. Gives you quite nice noises when you upshift, downshift, um, and also just when, general driving about, it just sounds a lot nicer. Another thing that I've done is to reset the Haldex pump. Now, on these vehicles, maintaining and keeping the Haldex pump in good working order is, is vital to actually having a functioning four-wheel drive. Um, Usually when you get to the 30,000 mark, you have your Haldex service, which if you go to a Volkswagen dealer, will only do, um, they'll only change the oil. Whereas what you need to do is if you go to a specialist, so you probably have a specialist near you, so I would Google that. Um, they'll change the filter as well, which then is, is basically the proper job. Um, if you reset the Haldex pump, it just basically makes everything as is, um, as far as it's aware. Um, just making sure that the four wheel drive functions properly. I did that as soon as I got the car as well. Another thing that I've done is to reset the DSD setting. So it almost has a memory in terms of how people drive. Um, so the previous owner to me, I don't know who they were, don't know where they lived, don't know how they, dro how they drove. Um, so I reset it so just so it can learn how I drive and how I want it to upshift and how I want it to downshift as well. Um, I definitely noticed a difference when that was done. So that's something I, I recommend doing as well. The third thing that I did with OBD11 is to actually turn down the sound actor. So the sound actor is the device in the car which makes it sound louder and more fruitful than it actually is. Um, so it pumps fake noises into the engine cabin essentially. So when you first get OBD, uh, OBD11 and you open it up, it shows the sound actor being at 100%. Um, I turned it down to 25, so there's still a little bit of a noise there, but nowhere near as much as what came with it as standard. Now, I don't actually have uh, an Android tablet to hand at the moment, but um, a great thing about it is you've got two options of doing it. So you can get long coding, which you can, be, you know, if you Google OBD11 Golf or OBD11 Audi, um, it'll come up with a load of codes that are specific to your car that you can do. Um, if you're confident in doing it, I mean, I'm, I'm not a tech whiz myself and I managed to do some long coding. It's literally just following step by step of what people are doing. Um, it's quite easy to do and you can do quite a lot of stuff with it as well. Um, the second option is there, has, there is actually an apps list in there. It's not app as in applications, but it's apps as in things that are preset, things that OBD11 have integrated into the platform where you can just click and you know it'll change. So the exhaust flaps is one of them, but you do need credits. Now you can either buy credits, uh, I think it's 199 for 10, and it's 10 credits to be able to change something. Um, or you can watch videos for credits and you can watch them as, you know, as much as you want to be able to get the credits as well. 
So to summarise then, OBD11 is a fantastic product. I'd highly recommend going over to obd11.com and getting the Pro version. The Pro version allows you to do the long coding as well. It's only around £64, £65, including postage, and they sometimes do deals as well. Um, have a look on the internet, do your research in terms of what code you want to do, note them all down, and then when it comes, you know, spend an hour, spend a, you know, a couple of hours in the car doing it all. But please do remember that if you are taking your car into Volkswagen for any warranty repair, just to revert the changes back to normal. And if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, keep in touch on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, um, and I'd hope to see you soon.